Okay, hi everyone. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start off with uh, just using the sine law and uh, using it to solve for a side of a triangle here. Okay, and we're going to start off with this one because uh, when you're solving for a side, you're not going to run into that issue with the uh, ambiguous case of the sine law where the, you have a couple different triangles there. So here, let's say that this is the information that we're given and we're looking for side x. Okay, now remember, if it helps, you can, you can label this however you want. So if we label this A, B, C, for instance, we know that the side that we're looking for is side A. Uh, this would be side B, and then we're given side C here. Okay, because you can label that however you'd like. Now, I know this is an example of the sine law because I've got the, the angle and the side pair here. So right off the bat, I know that I've got C over the sine of C, and I'm going to use that. I, now I would like to figure out what X is, but I don't know what the angle opposite is. Now, when you're looking for a side here, that's actually pretty easy to do because you've all you've got to do is subtract those two from, from 180, right? So we see the 75 plus 35 is going to be 110, and if you subtract that from 180, Okay, so we go 180 minus 75 minus 35. Ah, okay, well that means that angle here, angle A, has got to be 70 degrees. Okay, so now we come over here and we know that we've got at least part of that A, little a, big A pair here. So we'll put little a up here, sine of A. And now we'll plug in what we know. Okay, we know that little c is 12.5. We know that angle C is 35 degrees, okay? And we know, I'm oh, sorry, we're, we're looking for a little a, and we know that the sine, or sorry, that angle A is 70 degrees. Now, if you think back to what we've been doing uh, with these particular functions here, what I've been doing is, is plugging in what these guys are equivalent to here. So t sine of 35, okay, is equivalent to uh, 0 0.57, Three, six, and the sine of 70 degrees is approximately, that's A over 0 0.9397. Okay, and I've been plugging those in uh, because I think that helps us later on. If we're just consistent with this, uh, I believe when an ambiguous case of the sine law pops up, it'll be a, a little bit easier to see. So now we cross multiply here, 12.5 times 0 0.9397 equals A times 0 0.5736. Uh, notice again, I'm going to, to four decimal places when I evaluate the trig functions. That's just a, it's just a, a kind of a, a standard way of doing that. And you never cross multiply without dividing. So we're going to divide by 0.5736 is equal to A. And now we just go to our calculators and do this calculation. So it's going to take me two seconds here to make sure I enter that in correctly. And I get here that this is 20.5 is equal to A. And there we go. So we use the sine law to solve for an angle missing in this problem here. It's just about setting up the proportion, cross multiplying, and simplifying.